The Prime Minister said these included an economic growth of 5.9 percent among the highest in the world. The BN, he noted, had also fulfilled 99.4 percent of its election promises, sharing the success in raising the people's income and employment opportunities. Dato Sri Najib said the government had carried out various initiatives to increase the people's income to be commensurate with the current cost of living and for all the people to have jobs. He referred to the implementation of the national minimum salary in 2016, which was increased to 1,000 ringgit a month in the peninsula and 920 ringgit for Sabah and Sarawak. The government, he said, had also succeeded in creating 2.26 million new employment opportunities, which also met the target of 3.3 million by 2020. On the implementation of infra-people developments, such as the first phase of the MRT project, he said, the project created history by being completed earlier than scheduled and saving 2 billion ringgit. Dr. Sri Najib added that the government was fully aware of the challenges facing the people and had introduced various initiatives to ease their burden. He said this included aid for those in need, especially the B40 group, such as the One Malaysia People's Aid, BRIM, One Malaysia People's Shop 2.0, which offers prices of goods at lower than market price, the Urban Transformation Centre, UTC, and the Rural Transformation Centre, RTC, special aid for farmers, fishermen, smallholders, mosque officials, and also civil servants. On education, the Prime Minister said the government provided free education from preschool to the secondary level. And for students entering public universities, almost 90% of their costs were borne by the government. Di pendekkan hampir ke semua gulungan masyarakat di negara ini telah benar-benar merasai nikmat dan dasar-dasar yang baik lagi mendatang manfaat pada rakyat yang telah diperkenalkan oleh kerajaan 